Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert audio to MIDI. Now this is going to be really useful for anyone who wants to say uh, record a little bit of audio just with your voice, just singing a few notes and have that converted immediately into a MIDI file that you can then put any other instrument on. This is useful for taking something like a drum loop and converting that into MIDI for the drums so you can uh, kind of edit, put in samples, change the sound based on kind of an existing loop. It's useful for taking something like, like a loop in our Apple Loops library and uh, creating a MIDI to put a custom sound on the same melody. So let's go ahead and see a few different ways that we can do this for those use cases. So here I've got a vocal melody that I just recorded a second ago. And I'm gonna show you how to turn that into a MIDI file that automatically follows the pitches of your recording, creates a MIDI file, and then you can put any instrument you want on it. So let's go ahead and delete this and show how we can make it from scratch. We're gonna click our melody. We're gonna double click the audio region. We're gonna close our loop library for now. And what we're going to do is click this button here to turn on flex pitch. Now it'll go to uh, automatic, um, probably slicing for most people automatically, but we're gonna go ahead and click flex pitch. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna scan our audio region and basically map out the pitches that it's hearing. So you normally use flex pitch for editing the pitch, fixing any pitching inconsistencies, getting it more on the grid. You can also edit some timing and things like that. I do have a full tutorial on flex pitch, but there's this cool button if you go to edit, create MIDI track from flex pitch data. So we're gonna go ahead and click that and it's gonna automatically take these notes that flex pitch analyzed and create a MIDI region and then you can put whatever instrument you want on it. Let's grab a guitar sound. Looks like it missed that last note a little bit. I must have not sung it clearly enough. So what we can do is then just come in here and drag it right down. And now we have a matching audio. Now let's try something like a drum loop. Drums do not have a pitch, so we cannot use something like flex pitch in order to get this MIDI. So here I've got a drum loop that I just grabbed from our Apple loop library for an example. Now let's say we wanted to create a MIDI track for the kick of this drum beat. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to select our track, select our region, and I'm gonna hit Control D on the keyboard. And this is gonna bring up our drum replacement doubling menu. So let's say I want to isolate uh, the kick and turn that into an audio region. We can go to kick. It's gonna automatically give us a number of default kick samples to choose from. We'll just hit okay. And now we've got a matching region to here. So let's go ahead and solo this again. Now let's listen to our brand new MIDI region. Now you'll notice that it falsely interpreted the snares as kicks here. So we might wanna go in here and manually take out these snare hits. Come back here, control D again. Let's grab our snare. Hit OK, and now we're going to take out just the kicks. Together. The original. So this doesn't work too perfectly. It still needs some manual editing, but you do get that MIDI out of the drum beat. You'll also notice it didn't pick up the cymbals, the hi-hats from the original. The uh, regions here were a little bit too quiet for the drum replacement to pick up. This is really more useful just for grabbing those main kick and snare patterns, and then you'll have to 
create your hats and symbols on your own if the drum replacement is not able to pick it up. And lastly, let's try doing some audio to MIDI for an instrument lead. Let's grab this piano loop out of our Apple loop library. And what we're gonna do is the same thing as with that vocal. We're gonna turn on flex, go to flex pitch, open this up. You can see these are not all the notes. Unfortunately, these notes are moving too quickly and we cannot convert them to MIDI. So something we could try is holding option over the bottom region and time stretching our track out. Let's trim this silence here. That sounds horrible, but we're going to nonetheless create a MIDI track, mute this. And as you can see, it doesn't work too well. We got some of the notes. We could manually drag those over. I wouldn't recommend this on anything that's a little too fast, such as this very intense piano arpeggio. But if you do really need to get something like that, you can, with a little bit of elbow grease, pull some information out of it, try something like time stretching to slow it down enough for our flex pitch to be able to pick out the individual notes. So that's just one method you can try again. It doesn't work all that great. As you can see, the results were not perfect. So there you have it. There's three examples of how you can get MIDI out of audio. We've got uh, our use case of a vocal melody, of a drum loop, and of something like a sample. Keeping in mind that this third option with the sampling uh, doesn't always work too well. It's just a limitation of Logic's ability to analyze notes uh, that are happening very quickly uh, within the flex feature. So I hope this was helpful. Be sure to leave any questions down in the comments below. I will respond to every single one. Leave the video a like, subscribe for more Logic Pro 10 tutorials. And also coming soon, I'm gonna be adding some Ableton content to the channel. Uh, now that Ableton 11 is out, I've been playing a lot with it. It's got a lot of features that I think make it a lot more competitive with Logic, including comping. So I'm gonna be playing around with that. Uh, there might be some tutorials for that. If you only use Logic, I won't be offended if you don't watch the Ableton stuff, so don't worry. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, evening, night, whenever you may be watching this, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.